That is indeed right. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the double Windsor doubled. So, if you see my last couple videos, I um, shared a knot that was invented by someone else, which I showed you last time, Lenwood, and um, his channel name, Who Sees This, which I posted the description in the in the um, description in the other video. So, today it's going to be a little different. I'm going to be showing you something of my own for the very first time. So I have invented this beautiful double Windsor knot that has been doubled. As you can see, I am using two neckties to do this. And you may want to cover um, your knot up with a coat or a vest because, because the um, skinny end will end up being longer than your wide end. So yeah, let's get started on tying my invention, the double Windsor knot doubled. Alrighty, so the first step of tying our double Windsor knot that has been doubled, you are going to be taking two neckties. <laughs> yup, that's right, two neckties. So my top tie is going to be my black one and the bottom is going to be the red tie. So drape both neckties around your neck like so and make sure their lengths are equal. That means skinny ends should match, wide ends should match. I've got the skinny end both on uh, skinny ends of both of both ties on my left side, the wide ends of both ties on my right side. So we are basically tying a Windsor knot with both ties together. So we're going to cross over like so. Feed it up the neck hole with both with both neck ties. And then we're going to cross over or go under and around. Go up one more time. Making sure everything is nice and tight. Cover it up. Yep, it's a very, it's a very large knot. So I don't recommend wearing this to formal occasions, honestly, because yeah, due to its large ties, and take both ties into the um into the um, loop in the front. Then taking taking the skinny ends of both neckties, cinch that up to your neck. And if I stand back, I don't know if you can see that. You may see, if I move it up, there you have it. The skinny ends are longer than the wide end. Yeah, I can't move it down the hole whole way but whatever so that is how you do the double Windsor knot double alrighty guys so that is how you do the double Windsor knot doubled so thank you so much for watching rate comment and subscribe for more videos and thank you so much for watching by the way before I end this video I want to show you where I got the idea of naming this the Double Windsor Not Doubled. It's because I saw on on YouTube there is a Double Eldridge Knot and a Double Eldridge Knot Doubled on uh, Patrick Novotny's YouTube channel. Go ahead and check out his videos. And, I, and once again, I'm going to post the link in the description below. So, thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more videos.